I do want to ask you about hydroxychloroquine. The president was pushing it pretty strong again yesterday. You said uh, you have prescribed this. I want to talk to you about the effects you're seeing and what it might do for people who take it normally outside of coronavirus and a possible shortage of medicine for them. Exactly. What we're finding clinically with our patients is that it really only works in conjunction with zinc. So the hydroxychloroquine opens a zinc channel, zinc goes into the cell, it then blocks the replication of the, of the cellular machinery. So it has to be used in conjunction with zinc. We are seeing some clinical responses in that regard. There are people that take it regularly for other disease processes. We have to be ca cautious and mindful that we don't prescribe it for patients who have COVID that are well. It really should be reserved for people that are really sick in the hospital or at home very sick that need that medication. Otherwise, we're going to blow through our supply for the patients that take it regularly for other disease processes. But what, but what you're saying is you're prescribing it and it is working for COVID-19 patients. Every patient I've prescribed it to has been very, very ill. And within 8 to 12 hours, they were basically symptom-free. And so wow. clinically, I am seeing a resolution that mirrors what we saw in the French study and some of the other studies worldwide. Um, but what I am seeing is that people are taking it alone by itself. It's not having efficacy. Okay. Wow. That is, uh, that's very interesting news, and, and hopefully uh, we can get that more widespread. Dr. Anthony Cardillo, thank you so much for your information. Hello, I'm Mark Brown. Click the ABC7 logo to subscribe to our Eyewitness News YouTube channel.